Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And in this episode, we are looking at the Kohetsu Wa, or Japanese handled Hap 40 Sujihiki 270mm knife. So, this line of knives has a coarse steel of semi stainless Hap 40 steel, and this steel is known for really high edge retention. It is a semi stainless in that the chromium content is not quite up to the level of full stainless as far as percentage so it will do some staining um, it does have a stainless steel soft cladding over the top of each side of that and sometimes the stainless steel that they use here can show some staining as well so don't be surprised if you do get a little bit of um, staining or uh, some some um, a little bit of reactivity or patina develop on your cladding here as well. Sometimes that can happen. But definitely you could get a little bit of uh, patina on the coarse steel over time. The heat treats about 65 Rockwell. So one of the cool things is it's taken to a high hardness. And this steel is known for really high edge retention. Like crazy high edge retention. The um, weight on the knife is quite light. It's 122 grams, 4.3 ounces. So it's it's you pick this thing up and you're like, holy cow, that thing is light. The blade length is about 273 on the edge, or about 10 and 3 quarter inches. Overall length, about 16 and a half. The spine thickness coming out of the handle here above the back of the blade, uh, or chin, is about 2.4 millimeters, and doesn't have a lot of distal taper, so you pretty much just hold that most of the way through, thin out just a touch, and then more towards the tip where the grind of the knife starts. The blade height on this is 41 millimeters at the heel, and the handle is just a good, no frills, octagonal, uh, ambidextrous hoe wood with the buffalo horn ferrule. It's got a nice polish on it. This one's got a real flush wood to ferrule fit here. Nice fit and finish on it. Very light handle. Um, their circumference on this is about 69 millimeters, a little under three inches um, at the ferrule wood junction, which for a suji gives you a little more clearance. So I think that works great on this knife. The um, balance point is going to be a little further forward because of the light handle and so there it is at the second kanji and which is behind your pinch grip but you get a little bit of weight forward balance that way which I think is kind of nice because it's a really light blade to begin with let's take a look at uh, let's look at the stiffness this thing it's fairly stiff at the back and then it gets a little bit of flex towards the tip it's not super flexy but it's not super stiff it's it either it's kind of a average amount of flex I guess for something this thin and let's bring it up in for a close-up here. So you've got some embossed kanji on it on the right side of the blade. Left side of the blade is plain. You can see the machine finish on it. Uh, you can see the core steel showing up at the edge there. So you've got that line. It's fairly faint, but you can kind of see the slight wavy line there. So there's your core steel peeking through at the edge. The right side of these blades does have kind of a polished area that they put on it that flows into the edge off the knife uh, versus the left side of the blade pretty much is just a standard small bevel right at the edge. These have a nice out of the box edge. I'll give them a good 6 out of 10. It was pretty darn sharp and had some good bite or tooth to the edge. These do have, um, this line does have kind of a spine that has a little bit of a curve to it um, and so the handle is a little bit of a cant up away from the line of the knife uh, which actually is nice on a suji because you get a little more clearance, but I don't know if you can see that slight curve to the spine. That's, that was the same way with uh, some of the other knives in this lineup that I saw, but that does give you some extra clearance, which is kind of cool. Let's take a look at it on our cutting board. <clears throat> so again, you can see the handle is a little bit of a cant upwards away from the board, which does give you additional clearance if you're going to do some board work with it. Here's what it looks like on a board. Got a nice smooth profile, not a lot of flat, which is kind of nice for a slicer. Not a huge amount of belly at the tip, um, so which is kind of nice also for a slicer because as you bring, as you really draw cuts, you don't have to raise the handle super high to get your tip to go in and finish off that cut if that's the way you like to use these. So this would be a draw. You know, I'm not obviously doing this in the right position, but this would be your draw cut on here. So nicely finished knife at the spine and choil, so it's pretty comfortable, great, pretty nice out of the box edge I'll say. Uh, actually quite nice out of the box edge and really ready to rock and roll. So uh, these have crazy edge retention on them. You got a lot of slicing to do. You want something 
in a commercial environment, this might be a really good choice for you. And light, sharp, great edge retention. There you have the Kohetsu Wa, or Japanese handled, Hap 40 Tsujihigi 270mm knife.